you know, it's interesting looking at what was submitted, why they selected me as officer of the year, the amount of stuff that I do for the police department. It's you kind of stand back and you look at it, you realize, oh my gosh, I do all that stuff. And it's, it's, it's crazy that I would do that much. And the thing that I think uh, surprised me is that I'm the very first officer that they selected. This is something new that Chief Barney implemented. And so I was the very first officer to actually get that award. So what I do is, like I run our Citizens Academy. I take care of that every year. I also do a lot of community events, coffee with the cop. I do um, events for the schools where I'll go out and I'll have a presentation that I'll give to, it's called Team Boys Charity Group. We talk about you know more up-to-date um, topics, things that are, are relevant to their age. Also, we'll do um, presentations for different companies on internet safety. Um, I'm also the public information officer that handles a lot of stuff for our police department. So it just so many of the different things that I do that just all kind of come together in, in one little package, I guess. So I started in 2003, March of 2003, as a dispatcher. And I remained a dispatcher for three years until the opportunity came up where I could actually go to the police academy. The police department sponsored me through the police academy. I did that. I um, became a police officer. And my whole ultimate goal was to be able to help whoever I could as a police officer. So I think that's been one of my drives, is always being out there to do something that's going to be helpful to whoever you come in contact with. I left patrol and went to the schools in 2012. And then I've been at the schools since, since then. I started out at Cherry Creek High School and was there for about five years. And then I spent the rest of my time at West Middle School. And I just think it's such a, an honor to be able to come to work every day, make such a positive impact on our kids. Um, you know, sometimes you know, they just need a little guidance to put them in the right direction, put them right back on track because kids are kids. And um, so I enjoy that. And I think it helps that I work in such an outstanding, welcoming school district. What I like most about my job is just the positive impact that I have on people. It's different when you're out in public in Greenwood Village and people recognize me. They, they say hi to me. They know, you know, they're Officer Rodney, Officer... Valenzuela, some of them don't say Valenzuela because it, sometimes it's a difficult last name to say. But, I mean, so many people know who I am. And I've always been told that I'm such a, a positive impact on our kids, our community. So that's what I like the most. I think what I like the most about my job is just being able to approach, make a positive impact, and, and just you know, be there for anybody that needs it. Probably the least thing about my job, I would say, is Probably when you have to take law enforcement action on somebody, when you know that they made a mistake, it's a mistake. And I always um, try to make the person you know, who is with me at that time you know, not feel as, as terrible as they think it is. And just to remind them that you know this was a mistake, you did it, put it behind you, and don't let it define you. I think that's probably one of the most biggest things is, you know, although you, you have to be, you still have to be a police officer, but when you're taking enforcement action, still when you walk away from that person, you should make them feel as good as they possibly can, regardless of what they're going through at that point. So our relationships that we build with all of our community members, it's important because you have to be able to be out there, get to know your community, get to know what they need, uh, what we can provide, what services we have to offer for them. And that's based on feedback that we're getting from them, our businesses as well. So we're out there with our businesses, you know, trying to determine, you know, what their needs are as well. So we want to be well-rounded, making sure that our police officers and our police department are, you know, tackling the needs of, of both our community and our businesses. And when you're out there building these relationships, you've got to be able to come out, you've got to be able to meet with people, you've got to be able to 
listen to them and not try to problem solve right away, take it back, bring it to the police department, and then we all get together and try to determine what the right outcome should be for, let's say, a problem that they're having. And so it's, and then you come back to them. And so you always want to make sure you circle back around and you get, you know, what they need and don't just kind of forget about them. So I think that's where it's been successful for me is that, you know, I can build a relationship, I get back to the people, and we just have always functioned that way. And it, it helps, you know, the relationship both from the police department aspect to the community and to our businesses. My plan is to grow old here. I want to be able to know that when I leave here as a police officer that, you know, I left being the most approachable, most active officer with our businesses, with our community, with our schools, with our kids, with any, anybody I came in contact with. And I want to be able to um, leave that legacy behind for somebody else to pick up and, and run with. And I hope that that person will be willing to put the effort that I put into it to move forward. And when I retire, we'll see what happens. Maybe you'll see me standing at a Walmart handing out smiling stickers. <laughs> One of the most interesting things I think that people don't realize or don't know about me is I did work in the funeral business before I became a police officer. I was there for 10 years. I went to Dallas, Texas and went to mortuary school there, came back, worked for a great company there here in Colorado. And um, so that's one of the things that people don't know about me. So I think that position helped me quite a bit when I would... Uh, come across, you know, certain aspects of my job as a patrol officer where I was, you know, familiar with, with certain things. And so I think that helped me quite a bit where, say, a newer officer who's never had to deal with sort of like a death investigation, they kind of, you know, freak out and they're nervous. And, and I was able to just come in and just kind of um, deal with that. And it also helped me with families. Like if a family's there, I've already had the training to deal with families in those situations, so I think that helped quite a bit. So that's one thing that probably people don't know about me. And then prior to that, I, was, I worked for Wendy's. I started working in Wendy's as a high school student, became a manager until I left there to be a mortician. I work probably for one of the best communities in Colorado. I think that we are lucky to have the citizens who support us. We have a city council who supports us. We have supervisors, chief. I mean, everybody supports us. So I think that, you know, with our residents being so um, accommodating to us and helpful and anything that we need as a police department, our citizens are always there to help us. City council is there to support us. And so I think that. If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change anything because I think I landed in the place I should have been. And I think that I was lucky enough to be a police officer in Crema Village. Mm -hmm.